Hello, my name is Horacio Lopez Nicora. I'm the soybean pathologist uh, here at Ohio State University. Today I'm here in Madison County. Uh, we're with uh, Amanda Doritas, extension educator here in uh, Madison County. And we're here in a field that um, from the road we can see premature defoliation. Um, the foliage is starting to get yellow and, and chlorotic um, way ahead of time. We are on um, R5, R6 stage um, where those pots are putting weight and we are seeing some chlorotic um, tissues, some uh, tissues that present necrosis in between the veins. We call these intervenial chlorosis and necrosis. And very characteristic of the disease that we know as sudden death syndrome of soybean. Uh, now, SDS, sudden death syndrome of soybean, um, is caused by a fungus that mainly infects the root system of the plant. And the infection takes place very early after planting. Um, it requires uh, cool and wet soil conditions, but the symptoms shows up very late in the season, R4, R5, R6. <clears throat> um, the symptoms that we see above ground is a result of the production of toxins that the fungus is producing in the root system and being translocated um, above ground. The, the leaves will fall off, the plant will prematurely defoliate, and that's one way that we're going to lose yield, and the fungus will continue affecting the root system, and that's an addition um, uh, damage of, of, of this uh, pathogen. A different disease called brown stem rot caused by a different fungus will produce very similar uh, symptoms on the foliage of soybean. And we want to rule out um, the presence of either the pathogen that causes brown stem rot or the pathogen that causes SDS, sudden death syndrome. Um, that's why we invite you to pull samples, go with a, a shovel and dig plants out. Um, we encourage to find plants that display symptoms, pull the entire root system with the plant. Most of the time you will be able to actually see the fungus growing on the root system, it will be a bluish, whitish, bluish, light blue color of the fungus if it's SDS. Um, we would like to split the stems, and most of the time we can use a knife, we can use uh, a pruner, a, uh, a scissor. Split those stems. And look at the pith at the center of that, um, of those stems. If we're seeing symptoms in the field that resemble SDS, we split stem and the pith, the center of the, of our stem look healthy, looks white, then we can say we have SDS in our field. On the other hand, if we do the same type of test where we see the symptoms, we pull plants and we split the stem and we see that the pith, the center of the stem is brown or this color, then we can rule out and say that is brown stem rod the problem. Um, this is very important because the management that we are going to apply next season will differ. Um, resistant cultivars for SDS will differ from the ones that we need to choose for brown stem rot. Um, one additional thing that we are uh, doing in the lab, in the soybean pathology uh, and nematology lab at Ohio State is we are receiving samples, those uh, root systems that you're digging out, you can send those to the lab and we are going to isolate the fungus, grow the fungus and verify what species of that fungus is causing SDS if you have it in your field. There are multiple species of Fusarium, which is the causal agent of sudden death syndrome, that can cause SDS. We want to know 
what species we have in our fields in Ohio. So we invite you to get out there, verify that you have either SDS or brown stem rot, and also to send samples to the soybean pathology and nematology lab at Ohio State. Thank you.